64 fathoms. Found a spot to work on here. Way to go, Mandy. If you got a little pile of crap, you know, you got to attack it. Gunning for an offload in 72 hours. Set them when you're ready. Roger. Captain Sig Hansen sets all 120 pots on a strong sign of life, sleuthed out by his daughter, Mandy. This is for Merida right now. Pretty excited to see what's down there. Good job, Lauren. There is a storm coming. It's less than 48 hours away, and I'm hoping we have enough time to get through these pots, find some crab, and get this gear moved. Because that not all sides need to be tied. got some pre-existing back problems, and uh, that's starting to rear its ugly head. Yep, just lay down, take it easy. For a little bit, and then try again. We'll give him a day, see how he does. But uh, well, we just got to go find some crab and make it happen. See if we can't keep those numbers coming. Taking a lot of painkillers, but it doesn't it doesn't take it down. I try to get warm and thinking it's gonna get better, but it doesn't. Is it so painful that you? I mean, you you want to cry? Yeah. We're not even through the first string here, buddy. <laughs> Have you taken Advil? Not yet. I'm gonna take some now. I don't know if the stuff those Norwegian doctors gave you is uh, strong enough. Uh, maybe not. But let's try one more time. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you. On the Northwestern. Okay. Here it is. With every pot committed to his daughter Mandy's chosen grounds, Captain Sig idles up to his northernmost string amid building 20 foot seas. Loritz, he's got some back issues. We're just gonna see how long he lasts today and then what kind of pain it brings. Oh, there's life in it. I mean, it's pretty good. Really, that's a crab an hour. Hey, Lawrence, does that hurt? Went in. 
Just letting you know, he said it started getting worse. He just gonna have to tap out right now. I don't know about Lawrence. I'm starting to fear the worst here. It doesn't look good or sound good, so I think he may be done for this season. We're gonna need another person to uh, fill that gap. Shorthanded, you're just going too hard. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how's it going up there? We ran into a snag. Lawrence got an accident. I need a plan B, and uh, you're it. Maybe you could think about coming up for a little while. I know it's last minute, it's not fair, but uh, you know. I got my hands full at home here with Sailor. I got a lot going on. I just, I'm really not planning on coming back up there right now. Okay, fair enough. We'll talk soon. Be safe. All right, bye bye. I get it. Who wouldn't want to be home? Just got to get him up quickly to get into offload. And uh, hopefully, you know, Lawrence it feels better. Poor guy. In Dutch Harbor. It's on here in your hip? Yeah, yeah. Shoots down all the way? That's a sciatic nerve. I know I got a pinched nerve, huh? but, but it, no, it hasn't been this bad before now. I know what it is. It's very painful. Just keep taking the pills. That's all you can do. Stay off it, OK? Yeah. Thank you. On the Northwestern. You know, I can't have him laying in the bunk uh, while we finish our season. It's just, it's so painful. We got to send him home. I will be uh, a man short on deck, but uh, I don't have time to look for another person. Got all your stuff? Yeah. Oh, good. Now you're looking safe. All right. I'm not, I'm not gonna get her in on the Good. Well, you got a job when you come back, okay? No matter how long. Thank you. I promise. Thank you. All right, Lawrence, be right. safe. Yeah. Call us when you know something. The guy's in a lot of pain. We'll get these crab off, shouldn't take very long. We're just gonna have to go a man short. You're just gonna have to work a little harder. 